This exclusive forecast is provided by WLKY Weather. Whenever you need the forecast, just ask, what's Jay say? Hi, everybody. I'm WLKY Chief Meteorologist Jay Cardosi. Okay, let's uh, talk about what's happening as we move into the upcoming weekend, in particular Saturday, right here in Kentucky. And a nice event going on in Madison. This is happening at... Uh, at the Clifty Falls State Park. It's the waterfall hike going on from 11 o'clock Saturday morning till about midday, noontime there. Now, they want you to meet at the Clifty Shelter. That's inside the North Gate entrance area. And as you go along this hike, it's supposedly a fairly rugged hike, so something to keep in mind. And you're going to be able to see five waterfalls along the hike itself. So pretty cool stuff there. The weather forecast, not the best. It looks kind of chilly with a chance for a few showers developing, and those temperatures will be in the 30s. Hey, Jay, tell us what do you say? Hey, what do we say? We can count on you. After two decades, we can say a lot about Jay Cardosi. We can say he has your most accurate forecast and is the Ohio Valley weather expert. But it's not about what we say. What matters is what's Jay say. What's Jay say about your weekend plans, your Little League game? His answer is still the one more people trust. Want to know the forecast? Just ask. What's what's Jay Jay say? Say? And today we are super excited about an adventure and some things to protect you for upcoming events. Well, yes, we decided that we we're thinking about Christmas and ordering and we were talking to the postmasters about what's the best thing to do and how to do it. We found out some crazy things. That, we did. You know, we, we knew about them, but yet it just wasn't in the forefront when we we're thinking about having packages delivered. So today we're going to cover some things about having packages delivered and Christmas coming up, you're going to be ordering things and we're going to talk about safety and helping the postmaster and all that kind of stuff. So Tina, what's the first thing we've got going here? Well, we're going to discuss different sizes of mailboxes. So today we have packages in front of us. No, we haven't all different bought sizes. our, yeah, we haven't bought our iron. <laughs> we just brought in this to actually show you yeah. and demonstrate Some the different, different sizes. sizes. Yeah, so what we're going to do, we're going to get the mailboxes up here for you, and we're going to show you how these packages fit in them and why you need to consider what type of mailbox. So what we've done is we've brought in two different mailboxes, and we've got one that will handle just about anything. And um, it's really we're moving big. things out of the way. <laughs> we're going to disappear out <laughs> of this mailbox. So, and the reason we're doing this is to let you see just how important it is to maybe change your mailbox, which I'm going to do. I'm just going to tell you straight up. I'm changing my mailbox. I don't know about Tina. I'm changing my yeah. mailbox. After we discussed After, with yes. several mail people, we went out and discovered what's yes. going on, you know, with our mail. And you hear in the news every day. I know it was in Kansas yeah. about two or three weeks ago, and they had a huge display and a discussion on the news about right. the mailboxes and the packages that are being stolen right off of your porch. And, and we've happening. had that happen. We've had that happen. People take stuff off our porch. But, you know, we live way back a lane. Right. Nobody sees who comes to our house. Mm -hmm. So we're really in a bad spot there. So what we did was we talked to them, and they're talking about the bigger mailboxes, which is this one. You know, it's a really big mailbox compared to the normal one. This is the normal. Look yeah. at the size. Just to hold them together. <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry to interrupt a little bit, but no, it's fine. I mean, this is they're my big, mailbox. Big difference. Big, right. big difference. So if you're going to try to put a package in that you have ordered in this little one, which I got business cards in. There, it's over there. That that box right there. This. Yep. That okay. one. That's the cards that you're going to be sending right, in. Right, right. We'll talk about that later. To get them in this mailbox, they'll fit barely. Well, no, never mind. We didn't even try this it's one. We just brought it in because okay. I thought it would be neat. But you got to put it in this one. Uh, uh, look, now the mail carrier is not here very long. They're going to pull up, put that thing, right. and they're gone. Now, there's also the one that's the business cards that I ordered. Right is there, yes. This? No, it's the one right there underneath the paper. Oh, okay, okay. That one. It won't go in this mailbox. Oh, these are just business cards, okay? Just business cards. 
It won't go in there. So yeah. anybody, this is a package too. That we need yes. to stop right there because this is one of those packages, ladies and gentlemen, that will be left on your porch. Will be left on your porch. So the mail carrier has to turn off the automobile. Well, they have to drive back your lane right. now. Turn off their car. Get out. Put that on your porch. Get back in, start their car, turn around and go back exactly. on the route. Now I've just increased their time on the route, which I don't want to I don't want to do that to anybody. Everybody has a timeline that they would like to get finished with their work. And if I order packages like this, I order these quite often. So I have increased my mail route carrier's time on the road. Nothing. That's unnecessary. Right. And you've also <laughs> had an opportunity to lose your business cards, which yes. can advance into your business. Yeah, and then there's another thing. If something's stolen out of your mailbox, that's a federal offense. Yes, now it it's different when they leave it on your porch. So now you have two different ways of having your package tracked or um, prosecuted if somebody's taken things out of it. So Right. And and when you're on the porch, it's not. It's just a little it's, slap on the hand. Well, you know, maybe. Go on. It depends if they on the judge. Yeah. Right, right. But even if they can catch them, I mean, you don't know how many people are walking right. by. And when you're in the city, I know the rural areas is like that as well. But when you're in the city, you have packages everywhere. I mean, I can walk into the apartment complex and there's oh, a box yeah. laying there. Well, let me tell you, before we do this certificate, this box, ladies and gentlemen, would be what an iPod Oh yeah, a cell, cell phone. phone. Oh yeah. I mean, this right here is the size. That's the average. So an average person walking by would not know. Oh, this is business cards, and Amazon Prime doesn't put on there what's in the context. So, you know, the content in the box. Yeah. So they're gonna think maybe it's something really <coughs> cool. Me. Which actually, I had some business cards delivered once, and um, they got them, opened the business cards, and then threw them down on the ground because they didn't want them, obviously. Oh, another one. So. We're going to move on. We're going to put this certificate. This is just a certificate. Look, now you don't want your certificate. If you're getting a special certificate in the mail, you don't want it bent or folded. No. But they're going to have to bend it or fold it to get it in that mailbox, not in this one. It's going to be just fine. So, you know, you, this is really cool. Especially for people that, you know, are going to be gone that day. Yeah, they're we, working. We've got a whole bunch of these, right? I think we can get most everything in there. Okay. We're going to try. Here's another box, just another one that could be anything. It could be a Christmas present for your grandchildren that you're sending in and you're keeping it. Um, you know, again, look, this all, this one, this will fit. Okay, we have one that will fit. <laughs> one now, will fit in now, the mailbox. This one is a package that was mailed and it's got a couple of books in it and a certificate. It will not fit in there. And even if they try to bend it, it's not going to bend because it's mm -hmm. too stiff with the books in there. But here we go gonna fit in here now oh, we're gonna take this out here everything we, we had on the table I'm gonna close this up because I'm telling you guys this little baby right here is gonna save you a bundle of money oh yeah a bundle of time there you go everything we had on the table is in this box that is so crazy let's put that one over there okay now just to make a point now I know y'all don't need that but we're gonna just show you what all's in the mailbox again what all we put in there Remember, this would not bend. Nope. This would not. So right now we have a certificate, a card box, a big package, a gigantic package, your iron, if you wanted to fit that in there. <laughs> yeah. Well, if you order one, which most right. people are ordering stuff now, and all of this fit in that mailbox. I mean, this is the only thing. That would fit in the small mailbox. It's right? actually this and this, our little piece of paper, are the only items that would fit in that small mailbox. And the piece of paper still had to be bent yeah. a little bit. And, you know, I don't know about you all, but I really worry about the safety of the postal people that are out there right. on the roads because when they have to come off of the mail route, one, they have to deal with dogs. Two, they have to deal with turning their vehicle off and back on. I can't imagine how many starters they put in their vehicles for right. doing that. And then the longer route, they've got kids just like we do and grandkids. Now, if they plan on being done with their route by five o'clock and I have made them drive back the lane and go out and two or three other people have, they're not getting off at the regular time. So. And we're not necessarily worried about the regular time, but just a time frame. Right. But not only that, think of the safety issues. Yes. 
When you get off at 3 o'clock if you're from school and you're a student and you're driving home. Oh, yeah. You know, we've always talked about don't text and drive. I realize right. that. However, this is very important to it think is. about their drive, their pull off. Yep. We need to discuss about the safety of around your mailbox. I know that oh, you know, yeah. we talked about this. Uh, we, know a, we know a postal person that has been stung severely. From just trying to put mail in the mailbox more right. than once. Now, you know, that's not to say if you put flowers right. or uh, bushes or something around your mailbox, that can house spiders, wasps, right. hornets. And not only for the safety of the driver, which we are very right. concerned about the concerns about the whole thing of the driver, you know, right. getting in and out. And I don't get in and out of my car and turn it off every time and lock it. No, but they but have we to. We want them to. Yeah, they have my mail. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. And legally, they have to lock it up because they are responsible for your mail. Right. So if I increase their time of having to come back and get out of the car, turn it off, lock it up, walk to the porch, walk back, unlock the car, get back in, start it up, turn around and leave. I just, I don't know about you all, but I feel bad knowing that they have grandkids, they have kids and grandkids, right. and maybe I cause them to be late for dinner or to be late for that play or football game that they're in. I don't know. I, and I do. I feel bad for them. I yeah. mean, it's so sad. And then you think about it, you know, this all came up when we were discussing this. Yes. My grandmother was 95 when she passed away. And she had a long lane, and then she had her mailbox. And I just remember thinking when we discussed about the bee stings or things like that, if my grandmother, when because that was her favorite thing, was yeah. to walk to the mailbox. That was her route. And to think about those flowers that might have been there, and she could have been stung, and it could have been detrimental. So you're talking right. about your kids go to the mailbox. Right. You know, you have your mail carriers, yourself, right. and then, of course, your elderly. So clean around your mailbox. Right. I, I know. I mean, I used to put flowers around my mailbox. I know. You're thinking it's ugly. It's just sitting right. there all by itself. <laughs> well, buy a fancy pole or something. But after talking to this male person that got stung more than once, and one time they got stung, was it seven times oh, in the same mailbox? Great deal. Had to leave. Had, because they were because sick. Because of that. Right. Yeah. Had to leave because they got sick from all the stings, you know, and that was only because there were flowers growing underneath the mailbox and they were up close enough when they opened that box, that noise caused those bees to just go into a frenzy and they just right. stung all up the arm and you know, I don't know. It's I just sad. I love the flowers around the mailbox, but now I see maybe right. that no more flowers around the mailbox. Right. That's so we want to make sure we're looking out for our mail carriers yes. for safety. I know that a couple of weeks ago there was a tragedy yeah. and it ended very sad. Um, you guys can look it up but it was yeah. very sad. It was all about the drivers and, and there were some mistakes that were made. I'm not sure on which end, but it was very sad. Right. And none of us want that. No, not at all. We don't want that. You know, and be and be careful when you're passing a, a male person. Mm -hmm. You know, give them a few seconds and make sure they're not pulling out or make sure they see you before you go around them. Right. Because they, and they, they see you, but we just want to make sure you see them. Exactly. And then invest in a new mailbox because if you're wanting to be a part of the new age and ordering from Amazon Prime or even Etsy, any of those, oh, you know, you can order on Facebook now. And yeah. Oh, yeah. Walmart.com. <laughs> I mean, it just keeps going. And this gets thing, your mailbox. It's not really upgraded. that big. This is this is how big it is. So just so you can see, it is big, but yet it's not too big. But it will hold just about anything you order, and that's the that's the issue. You know, like I said, if they have to leave it on your on your porch, if you're like me and you live in the country, we live far enough off the road. Right. Nobody's going to see who pulls up in that driveway and takes a package. Exactly. You know, they're going to know their car went up in there, but by the time I find out if something was stolen, well, they don't know what color the car was or who it was or what. Right. The, nobody's paying attention to that type of thing. So. So to resolve that issue, yes. just get a big mailbox. And that's all it takes is a how bigger much, mailbox. How much? If you were this to mailbox go at was thirty. Thirty dollars, thirty some dollars. Thirty dollars, and that one was almost twenty. So, so you're thinking, okay, let's if we just added up two hundred dollars worth of products, if we had two hundred dollars worth of these products, if they were there, and we put them in there, we have saved. What? Yes, we we save money because they're not gonna. Well, they're less likely to get stolen. Right. I mean, if somebody pulls up to your mailbox and you've got that much stuff, in, they're gonna be there a while stealing it, and everybody's gonna see them. Plus, it's a federal offense. Exactly. So that's that's a good thing too. But I don't know to do this instead of the porch. I'm 
I just tell you, I'm, I'm changing my mailbox. I'm changing my mailbox. We truly, we just started discussing this one day, and we started asking some questions. And our we big found points out a today, lot more. we did. I, I was. Then we wanted to know. I was shocked. Do you know I didn't even think about them having to drive down those long lanes, and how sometimes that could be a little bit creepy. Yes. You know. Yes. So we want you to just think about upgrading your mailbox thirty dollars it's a great investment enjoy your Christmas that way you don't have to be calling somebody yes. saying um, I ordered two hundred dollars <laughs> worth of Christmas and now my children don't have Christmas because it was not left on the porch right and think about your postal drivers yeah. you know they uh, are they are great people I don't know if I've, I've never met a mean one have uh, you? no no but you know to, just to, the fact that one package will make them have to drive to your porch, get out of their car, turn it off, lock the doors, put it on the porch, come back, unlock, and start again. Like I said, I don't know how many starters okay. they run through. And then, year. then you come home and it's gone. And you're calling somebody saying, "I, I don't, I don't have a package." You know, Miss Debbie, I thought you sent me a package. You know, did you send it? And it's gone. And so now you have call the sheriff's department well and you can, can track the them. postal you can track them because I've done that before had a package missing and I go to the post office and say okay here is my email this was right. delivered but it's not it's not there it's not in the mailbox or at the house and they say well we left it on your porch it's that's, gone that's it it's totally gone so somebody took the package and we never got the package oh and we need to remember to say but if it's gone out of the it mailbox. was in that big mailbox you can then proceed forward and yes. they will take care of you because our it's a federal offense our postal service is pretty amazing sometimes they get a bad rap but i oh think they're amazing i think they are you know i get things pretty quick you know like this package came very quickly in from the postal service so they they do a great job they do and i just feel bad that now i know we've made their route extra long and somebody has missed a football game or a, a play that their right. kids or grandkids are in so, and we want to keep them safe yes and so we're going to fix that as right. far as we're concerned. And we just want to encourage people to, to think about it, keep your packages safe, and think about your mail carrier, you know. And as the holidays come, start thinking about that mailbox and check around your area so you can get all your goodies. I love my goodies. When they come in the mail, I like go to the mailbox. Oh, man. Yay! And now I know that I wasn't getting my packages because I had a small mailbox. I'm going to get one. Yeah, me too. So, well... Think of all those things and see what you can do about helping out the mail carrier and making it a little safer for them. And as always, we thank you for watching. <laughs>